Bliss, bliss. So, welcome back to another episode of The Sun Room. And today's topic is about ego. I'ma just jump right into it. So, coming along, or first diving into the, our spiritual journey, most of us have heard the notion of we need to rid ourselves of the ego. And that could be the farthest from the truth. That's something that I've learned and I've experienced for myself to be able to say this. And just based off of human nature that I've just been analyzing or just reading also, we just naturally have something within us to have to make something an enemy. So even making the ego an enemy. So I wanted to clarify that a little bit too because of what I was talking about on my last episode of Arrested Development. And not only when we first of all know ourselves because that's like rule number one when it comes to like spirituality first of all we need to know ourselves and that's in and out you know what i'm saying especially inner because that's the what's going to be tested the most is where our, our spirit is going to be tested the most and that's what we want anyway just because of that's gonna bring about the most character development. You know what I'm saying? We'll be able to learn. Just having an easy life, we'll walk around docile and not really motivated to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I guess, when that bad becomes more of an advantage if we wanna look at it that way as that perspective. So first of all, know thyself and that's going to lead to, like I said in the last episode with the rest of development, that we'll be able to better discern who to be around, what to get involved with, who to get involved with and things like that because when we do that, we're welcoming other energies into our lives and it's, it's vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So if something comes up where it's like, hold on, I wasn't having these thoughts before or hold on i wasn't into these things before that's how we'll be able to know and differentiate what's us and what might not be of us so if we don't need it then get rid of it you know what i'm saying so also a part of having that discernment is being able to discern whatever it is that we're working on when it comes to us as we put in that work and show the fruits of our labor, we'll be able to know like, okay, that just manifested for me because of the work that I put in. So I know that's for me, so I, I can go down that path. Even sometimes we might not even know what is down that path, but we know within ourselves that we need to go down that path and to see it through. So with that, we'll have more of a backbone based off of the work that we put in as far as knowing that so we'll have that confidence to go down there even if it can be fearful sometimes or we just we can feel certain emotions and not allowing that to stop us in our track you know what i'm saying not to have us catch like get cold feet or anything like that so the best thing that I've learned through my journey is how to allow the ego to be a tool and utilize it as a tool because outside of having just this physical body and this vessel that makes us unique and have an identity, another thing is our ego or just our, our self within, you know what I'm saying? Like once we know ourselves we'll have we won't really i mean yeah we have culture and things like that and that's also an identity as well but within that we still have who we are as an individual so once we know who we are as an individual we can use that as a tool to not really let it guide us because it can more so be like all right i know myself and how i'm feeling so now I need to channel this and 
balance it with the heart, the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Like the mind is who we think we are, but then when we get synced up with the mind and the heart, that's when we really in balance, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that Star of David, that Merkaba energy where the lower and the higher meets and it always meets in that heart center. So if we're sent with, if we're grounded enough and also elevated enough to be in that middle space, that's where we can still be tapped in and grounded to make those decisions, but also in ourselves to know who we are, to utilize our tools that we've been blessed with, you know what I'm saying, in this lifetime, whatever it is that might be, whatever our interests might be, our talents, things like that, we're able to do those things and do them based off of spirit moving us. But how we do it is based off of our identity, our key signature, our energy signature as well, you know what I'm saying? So that's really, it's like a really short and simple, straight to the point type of thing that can be really explained as far as like ego and how to utilize it as a tool and not have it more so use our use us or we can get so engulfed in it that we just lose our true perception of reality you know what i'm saying we think that oh who i am is that that's just it you know what i'm saying like we'll have we won't be able to still have that mastery over ourselves and be able to break certain levels and just to elevate you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much the gist of this episode of how ego is not an enemy ego can serve us as long as we know how to utilize it as a tool you know what i'm saying so that's all i have for today Hope y'all all having a great day so thus far. Um, wherever you are in the world, having a good rising, good night, good afternoon, you know what I'm saying? Much love to you. And until next time on the sunroom, cheer, bliss.